Good evening. Um, how are you? Still dealing with the ash dieback here in my forest. Um, this tree here is infected. I've put a little yellow flag on it. I'd like to um, have a few words about the biology of the fungus. What's going on? How it works? How it lives and all that. So we'll start off with the ascospores that actually cause the infection. Little tiny microscopic lads that flow through the air, they get carried on bird's wings, they get carried on cars, they get carried on clothes, they get carried on insects. And they land on the leaf of an ash tree and um, they kind of put out their little spear and infect the leaf and that causes dieback. As you can see on this stem on this tree, it's died back. Right to here we have the diamond shaped lesion, lesion here. Now that's the asexual stage of the fungus. It doesn't do any sex during that bit. And then um, the infected leaves and the petioles, that's the part of the leaf. An ash tree leaf is made of lots and lots of leaves coming out sideways and one on the tip on a long stem which is called the petiole. So they fall off the tree in the autumn time and on the forest floor, down here on the forest floor, I don't see any petioles under this tree. This fungus proceeds to, um, well, have sex if you like. So it's living in these little leaf stalks on the forest floor in its sexual stage. There's two different kinds of the fungus and they meet together in the petioles on the forest floor and they have sex and then the following summer, any time really in Irish conditions, any time from late May right through till the beginning of November, they put up little tiny, tiny fruiting bodies from the black petioles on the forest floor and release new ascospores into the air to sail away in the wind and infect new trees and that's how the fungus spreads. So in dealing with the fungus in our own forest here, I didn't go with the Department of Agriculture's um, reconstitution plan because I wanted to, um, well I want to see which of my trees are resistant and I want to continue experimenting with various different treatments to try and reduce the infective pressure etc. So, um, what do we do with an infected tree? Well, I'll show you. Isn't that just great? <laughs> More later. <laughs> <laughs> 